getting results. The IRS telephone threats are back and they are bigger than ever. Imposters posing as agents, not only calling News 6 viewers, they're calling our producers too. Mike Holfeld joins us now with this week's edition of Schemes and Ripoffs. And there's all kinds of tells. News 6 News producer Ken Pilcher knows a scam when he hears one. There was no indication this person knew who I was. It was just, a, it seemed like a very formulaic script. The call came from a Washington, D.C. area code, fitting the profile of those IRS cell phone threats hitting Central Florida since the start of tax season. They overtly threatened jail time. So before we file a case against you in the courthouse and before you get arrested, kindly call us back. Ken says the call actually came in on his personal cell phone. He immediately put the number on the national do not call list. News 6 has been tracking the area codes for these IRS imposter calls since the beginning. Now as you can see, they're all spread out, but so far, the bulk appear to be coming from Washington, D.C. Well, we want to get results for people and make sure they're not taken by scammers like these people. To me, it's obvious, but to a lot of other people, this might not be obvious that this is a fake. Again, this is Officer Daniel Cruz from the Internal Revenue Service. Thank you and have a blessed day. Last week, News 6 viewers from Orlando to Daytona Beach have been reporting similar IRS threats. In some cases, the con men will leave a number. If you call, they'll pressure you to pay over the phone. Don't fall for it. It's a scam. And if they call, let me know. We'll report it to the IRS. Mike Holfeld, News 6. Now, you can check out all of Mike's schemes and ripoffs reports or to report a scheme to News 6, head to our website, clickorlando.com, powered by... News 6.